Hello YouTube and welcome to my first official episode of Vanger Out Gamer taking over Arsenal and the Gunners here just want to show you real quick um, what I did with this thing as far as me I kinda of set it up like I was at Bath City um, these are my coaching skills not a lot uh, there but hey we're gonna see what happens as far as the staff just kind of show you the roles I've given them, the responsibilities. Arsene Wenger stayed on, on. He is the general manager. And pretty much he, him, or Chips Keswick are in charge of everything. I think the only thing I kind of kept for myself was doing team interviews, that kind of stuff. Uh, but as far as signing players, scouting players, all that kind of stuff, I, I just left that up to them. All I'm doing is coming in to run the matches and, and see if we can win. Uh, the tactics that I've got set up, 4-2-3-1 and a 4-4-2. I'll show you a little bit more when we get ready to, to play the match, who I've got playing. But here we go. Let me go ahead and get it set up for the first match, and let's see how we do. Well, here we go, folks. First match at the Hawthorns, West Bromwich Albion. Sellout crowd. We are the favorites on this thing. Obviously, we, you know, I think we should be. Uh, I'm playing my 4-2-3-1. We got Peter Cech in goal, Monreal, Murtisacker, Koscielny, I always mispronounce his name, Bellerin across the back, Ramsey and Co uh, Coughlin in the middle, Oxlade Chamberlain, Ozil, and Sanchez across the front, and I'm putting Danny Welbeck up as a striker. I think he can, can hit the net there for us. They're playing in a 4 1 4 1. And we're going to go ahead and give them their team instructions and their pep talk, and I'll join you back in just a second. Well, well folks, this, this is normally where I would show you the game, and we'd sit there and watch how Arsenal does against this, but I messed up. When I was supposed to be recording the game, I didn't hit the button, so the game was not recorded. But you really didn't miss much. It was a nil-nil draw. I'm going to go ahead and show you the stats and let you see how everything went. No highlights to show you, but we'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll let you know where we're going to go from there. So hold on just a second, and I'll get that pulled up for you. Well, well here, here we, we go, folks. This is the match highlights or the statistics from the West Brom match. As you can see, it was a nil-nil draw. We had 26,445 there, 2,644 away. Had three guys get booked. Um, statistically we should have won this 15 shots on goal to their five four on target to their none no clear-cut chances of possession 54 to 46 six corners to their none seven fouls to their 17 we beat them on passes complete I mean it was just it was it was really kind of sad um, and while we're looking at this I'm gonna fix this I don't like the fact that this is all there so bear with me just a second we're gonna see the focus of attacks there and the formations so there we go um, just kind of updated that but I, I just it, it was it was really kind of kind of a, a, a flat um, response from us um, and if we look at the statistics down here you now Murtisacker was player of the match on a 7.3. I pulled Sanchez off because he was a 6.4. I pulled Danny Welbeck off because he was a 6.5. Uh, Ramsey, uh, Colchelny, and Murtisacker all got yellow cards. Just, I, I, it, I mean, it, to me, it just kind of shows the problem we have. We don't have, Arsenal's issue has been, for the last two years, they don't have a true striker. And to me, that's that's kind of indicative of this. Four shots on target out of 15, and none of them could find the net. So I'm going to take a look at it. I'm not going to show you any highlights. There's nothing to show you. I mean, we just played flat. So let's go ahead and leave this match. Our next match is going to actually be in two weeks uh, against Manchester City back at the Emirates. That is when I will record and upload again. And I'm going to follow the schedule that they follow. We're going to play April uh, 2nd against Man City at home. Then we're going to follow that up three days later against 
West Ham at home. And then three days after that, we're going to play Crystal Palace away. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Folks, I hope you like what we're doing with this. I hope you kind of enjoy this idea. Tell me who I should be playing up front. I need somebody that can get the ball in the net. Uh, obviously, the way I had it set didn't work. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, the episode here. I hope you like what we did. If you did, hit a like down there, folks. Let's see if we can get 10 likes on this thing. I'm, I'm, I've never done that. I tried to get 15 on the intro. Didn't make it, but that's okay. We're going to try for 10 on this. Give me some feedback. Tell me what I need to do. At least we did better than Arson on this one. He lost 3-1. What's your predictions on, on Man City? Are we going to get slaughtered on that one there in, in two weeks? But either way it goes, folks, I hope everybody's doing well, and I hope you see you back for Episode 2 on April 2nd. Take care.